Hey everyone, and welcome back to Guild Wars 2 here with me, Ten Lamore, at New Lion's Arch, New LA, and we're in front of the um, the Black Lion, uh, what is it called specifically, the Black Lion Vault, and I thought I'd just show you, um, first of all, like one of the cool things I think about this building, is that it's like spectral background they've got kind of going on there, where you can kind of see into like the stars and the, the mist, it's very, it's very, very cool, but in here, this is where you can find all the various different uh, red line weapons, um, and there's all sorts of special stuff in here uh, that you kind of get previews for. Now there are a lot more weapon skins than like what they show in here. But these are the ones that you're currently able to buy with red line tickets. So there are of course extra ones on you can find on the marketplace and various other bits and bobs. But from without further ado, let's continue our journey and uh, smuggle. Uh, Demi Beetlestone out uh, of Lion's Arch with Tybalt. We're going to meet him at the Order of Whispers safe house. Uh, time travelling again back to the past. Here we go. Back at Old Lion's Arch. And if we walk out a little bit you can see, get a good look at what Lion's Arch used to look like uh, before the events of Living World Season 1. Uh, a nice, good top-down view. It's a shame, again, it's a shame that you can't wander around this place. This is how I remember it. But uh, here, we, here we go. Let's uh, continue on with the mission. There they are. There you are. Ready for a midnight stroll through ministry-infested streets? Our destination is the Order's headquarters, but first we have to leave the city. That means we gotta cross the bridge and the plaza, and get to the docks. The Ministry Guards are searching Lion's Arch for Demi. They're everywhere. I can use the last of my energy to cast a veil of invisibility over you, Initiate. I did the same for Demi when she left Divinity's Reach. I would cast it on Demi again, but Lissa's veil can only be placed on an individual once a day. Demi cannot be blessed again until tomorrow. And we have no time to waste. You must get her safely out of the city and to the Chantry of Secrets. I'm grateful for all that you've done, Lady Wee. If I'm ever able to return to Kryda, I hope to see you again. I hope that day comes soon, child. Be safe, remember your duty to Kryta, and be true to the Order. May Lissa watch over you. Okay, there we go. Veil of Invisibility. We have to knock out three Ministry Guards, uh, so to me and Tibble can descend to the street. So I think we can just be... Boom! So this glowing shield on my arm is no, no cause for concern, it seems. It's two down, you gonna come down? Good, good. And number three is just here. Here. We're gonna get a good, nice little uh, walkthrough of like some bits of the old Lion Sarge at the very least. So, uh, are they down? I saw them come, but I didn't see them. Oh, there they are. What's the next part of the plan, Dibble? Yeah. See some more guards. We've got to go and knock those out. Yes. Uh, who's facing the other way? So let's do this one first. So they don't notice. There we go. And then this one is conveniently facing the opposite direction. There we go. Oh god, I remember this bridge. Coming, I remember the old lion there. Man, Old Lion's Arch was, was so cool. It made it feel like the pirate town like it was meant to be. Oh, my veil of invincibility has gone. Oh dear. Looks like we might have to go into attack mode. Oh, it was good while it lasted. Yeah. Now this is going to be twice as hard. Stick close. We might have to run for it. Okay. Avoid Ministry Guards. Okay. Let's, um... Uh... Head towards the center, I guess, and just sneak around the middle. 
head out to the outskirts. Trying to avoid this one. Sneak around the back. If it will let us do this. Yep. Okay, I think that's I think that's successful. <laughs> a bit of a sneak. That was incredible. My heart is racing. Do you two really do this kind of thing all the time? All day and all night, and then the next day and the next, but not the day after that. That's a holiday. <laughs> Don't listen to this big lug. I thought it was exciting too. I'm still an initiate though, so I'm still learning. You learn fast though. We never would have gotten through the city without your quick thinking. Now we head south to Storm Bluff Isle. Storm Bluff Isle? Why there? That's how we get to the Chantry. Just trust me. Landon's still on our tail. All right, Tibble. I'll see you there. Okay, so there we go. Uh, so we're going to choose. Let's just choose that. Come out the instance. And we will meet them at Storm Bluff Isle. be time travel back to present day first of all to modern day dinosaurs well i wonder where it's going to drop us off it ain't going to drop us off where we originally were it's going to drop us off in the center surely uh, oh no it does it just drops us off where we originally were okay so meet defend demi from commander landon and the mystery guards that are pursuing her meet tybalt and demi at storm bluff isle so storm bluff isle is just south here and i've done a little bit of exploring so we can uh, go through that but let's um, let's walk through there normally and I can show you this next uh, part of this next area that we can go to the blood coast the blood coast here we go blood tide coast and here we are it's a sort of semi-tropical kind of area and uh, this is a level 45 to 50 area, I think. Level 45 to 55. And this is from here where we start getting further south. Then we start heading to our eventual destination of ore here. Um, and it's the, like, these kind of areas, uh, starting with uh, Blood Tide Coast and then Sparkfly Fen, uh, where we start to see a lot of this, um, a lot more of the uh, Orion story. So. Let's head over to uh, the Storm Bluff Isle, which is just across the river there. There's a launch pad. I don't know exactly where that's going to take us, but let's try it anyway. Yep, it's taking us to the other side nice and easily. So let's go around the corner and continue our little story here. It's so very hard not to just mount up and just mount everywhere. Here we go, an apple a day. Enter instance. Classic music again. To me, little stone and light. Landon's still it. following us. Are you sure you want to do this to me? Absolutely. Never been more sure of anything in my life. Okay. Commander Landon won't give up, really. He'll keep searching for me until I'm dead. The Order of Whispers can protect me. But only if they lock me up like a prisoner. I'm tired of being someone else's pawn. I can't live like that. It's time to stop running. The Order is willing to relocate you to me. We can give you a new life. Do you really think there's anywhere in Tyria that my father can't reach? He even has spies in the Black Citadel. Anyway, what good would a new life be while the dragons destroy Tyria? I can't just sit idle while the world burns. So what are you going to do, Demi? I know I could go into the Chantry and vanish anyway. Or the Order could bring a hundred agents out here to kill Landon and his men. Neither of those things will set me free. I have to stand up to Landon myself. I have to show my father that he can't manipulate me. I think you're right, Demi. It's time for you to make a stand. Tybalt and I will help you. Okay. Let's speak with each of them. Tybalt. Thanks for being so understanding. I know our partnership is new, but uh, this has been really great. I agree. We work well together. 
I hope, I mean, if you wanted to, oh, never mind, to work with you again, I'd love to. Oh, yeah, really? That's great. Hey, wow. Uh, that's great of you. So, was there anything else you need to know? What's, yeah, what's the plan? And an ambush that land in the hints crew won't forget, you'll see. What's with the apple barrels? They look real, right? Totally scrumptious. Good, good. Okay. It's me. Just chilling on the beach. I've made my choice. I'm going to join the Order of Whispers. I can't sit idly by anymore. But apparently you can, because you are. Uh, you've seen a lot of bad things to me. I'm glad you're taking a stand. My father taught me more than he knew, and I'm going to turn all of those lessons to benefit the Order. Do you think we can defeat him, save Queen Jenna and Crichton? I hope so. The Queen is a good woman, and we humans are strong folk. We just need to take it one challenge at a time. Speaking of challenges, are you ready to confront Landon? I am. I'll start with him, and when I'm done, Kryta will be free of my father's influence. You'll see. Then the Order will stand beside you. Prepare the ambush for the Ministry Guard. Hey, to me. Got a moment? If you're fighting, you'll need a weapon. Take my rifle. Uh, ever fire one? Ben tried to show me once, and I nearly shot his ear off. <laughs> you're gonna be just fine, you know. <laughs> Fast and brutal. Okay. Here they come. Oh, here they are. And his bully boys. I... I'm ready. Don't be fighting. But you stand with the Order of Whispers. No left Never to run stand alone. Needlestone. Surrender or die. Well, agent Sam. Did you think you could hide from me on some remote island? You're under arrest, Lady Beetlestone. Tell my father I'm not his little girl anymore. I'm mm. free, Landon. Free of him and free of you. Lady Beetlestone. If you think a few apple barrels will stop me, you're going to be disappointed. Landon, you've got two disappointments coming. First, Demi's not going back with you. Second, these are apple barrels. There we go. Get in there as well. See if someone fires a rocket launcher. There, nice and easy. Super easy. I can't thank you two enough. You saved my life, and you've given me purpose. I'll never be a pawn again. I'm going to join the Order of Whispers and become a real operative. In time, I'll do what you do. Help to save the world. You'll be a great agent someday to me. For now, the information you can give the Order will save a lot of lives. Head into the cave. There's a light ringer inside waiting for you. Maybe we'll meet again someday. Tybalt, I think I still owe you an apple cider. That you do, buddy. But we've got one last thing on our agenda. The Preceptors have asked to see you. The Preceptors? Who are they? The three Preceptors lead the Order. They work for the Master of Whispers. His identity is kept secret to protect us all. If they want to see you, it must be big. But don't worry. I'll be by your side. Okay, enter the Chantry of Secrets. So let's come out of the instance. And this is like one of the coolest, uh, I would argue, uh, we've already, I've already shown you the, um, the, uh, the vigils location here. We've seen that, uh, and that is quite a nice looking place. Um, I would like to show you uh, the German Priory, which is up here. That's a kind of cool location, but this is also one of the, I would say they've all got like really kind of cool, uh, locations to them. How exactly do we get in there? Oh yeah, it's through the, through the uh, cave. Uh, but this is one of the um, one of the cooler ones, I think. I think the vigil was a nice thing when you first see it. Uh, but this is definitely like the top of my sort of list. Uh, let's go ahead and do this hero challenge if we can. Oh, it's level 48. Uh, maybe not. Oh, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Let's see how we do. You can always try. We're not doing a lot of damage, but... We do have boots and various other bits. We we'll probably didn't want to do that straight away. Okay, let's get some boots, use our justice. Make sure it's getting full demo. I don't think we're going to be able to do it, but who knows. Let's do another knock. Get me out of here, wait for our heal skill to recharge. Get recharged in time. 
to really start doing some dodges to try and laugh a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Not gonna work, is it? Right, let's whack ass. Let's knock him back. Try and do as much damage as possible. Try and get our symbol up. Try and heal us a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to do it. So we will just wait to respawn outside. Well, we gave it a go. Oh, it's still active. Oh, interesting. Maybe we can we can cheese it a little bit. In that case, sure, why not? Use all of our bits and try and try and really cheese at this guy. Should be able to res. Uh, we should be able to do enough damage with our uh, stainless steel to res. So, and there we go. Now that was a fight against an order whisper agent. Uh, if there was any doubt about why we should be joining them, uh, surely that should help to prove that they are worthy. They are. Uh, they are fine themselves. Right, here we go. The order. Of whispers. Let's enter the instance. Here we go. Greetings, initiates. The preceptors are expecting you. You're free to enter the antechamber. Your friend Tybalt is waiting for you there. There we go. Hmm. This is it, like the music's gone quiet, and these uh, agents are just going to appear out of nowhere. I just received a letter. Logan Thackeray. My friend, word is spreading that you are quickly making yourself invaluable to your order. I'm pleased to see that you are having so much success out of Kryter. I've heard that Ritlock and Air have been investigating the Escalon catacombs. Zoja still fights for Snap's legacy, while Kaith roams the Caledon Forest, keeping her own counsel. Perhaps this whole thing was a mistake. I've spent some time considering what to do about Destiny's Edge, and to be honest, I'm not sure the situation can be salvaged. I made a choice to save Jenna, a choice I don't regret. So long as she needs me, I have to be there for her. If you need me, I'll be attending a party at Legate Minister Cordicus's estate near Beetleton. The Queen may be in danger from that old spider, and I don't intend to allow him to succeed in stealing her throne. So, what is alluding to here? Ritlock and Air investigating Ascalon Canyon? That's the first uh, dungeon uh, in the game, and you kind of follow that little bit there. She's there to find Ritlock, uh, Magdare, the. Uh, not Ritlock, Logan. Magdare, which is, uh, do you remember when we saw Kreisha, uh, Ritlock has like a flaming human sword uh, called Sahothin. Air is there to try and find its twin, Magdare, which is uh, one of the old uh, Ascalonian kings uh, weapon, um, and trying to give it to Logan so they can kind of, so that can somehow make up for it. And that's what you kind of play through when you do that uh, dungeon. Um, him talking about going to Cordicus's manor, that is the second dungeon that you kind of go and do. Uh, and you go and... No, I think it's the second one. Uh, you go and you fight through Cordicus's manor and there's uh, stuff that happens. It's a very interesting dungeon, but again, I won't be showing it to you because nobody really does dungeons, unfortunately. Um, but And there's, there's if you want to see them, there's plenty of good series out there that will go through them for you. Uh, Wooden Potatoes has a good uh, a series. His stuff in general is just great for Guild Wars 2. Uh, but there you go. That we will uh, delete our mail there from Logan and continue on into the Chantry. And just get a look at that. Like, it's like walking into the Ragged Flagon, you know, but this is just so much better. This giant glowing orb, and it, if you may have noticed that this is indeed a map of the world, and for a long time, uh, can I show you the world map? Oh, there we go. Yeah, for a long time, we only knew about we knew about some of this stuff over here. We knew about some of this, and we knew about some of the cancer stuff. But for a long time. Um, yeah, that, that was all we had, and we knew about some of the loner from like, Guild Wars 2. But in 
uh, even recently, like very, very recently, they have began to expand this map. Like we've got all this section up here. We've got all this coast off the side of the Maguna. We've got um, the Battle Isles from like the first game. We've got all this extra stuff. There's like a little island over here. Um, over to the uh, east, we've got this here, which you don't know what it is. We've got all this land here with all this extra stuff that we've never seen before. Uh, all this potential for the game to grow in the future. Um, and uh, this actually was the first time like when you get the texture of this where you get to see some of that before they updated the map so it's very very cool and a bunch of these insignias on the floor so we're going to go up that is a asura gate that will lead to somewhere in the future it's funny how they have it right there from the beginning um but yeah it will lead to somewhere very important uh, come the future Let's go meet the preceptors, shall we? Welcome to the Chantry of Secrets, Initiate. My name is Halvora. Dorn, Valens, and I are the preceptors. We guide the Order of Whispers. Real is our attaché. And of course, you know Lightbringer Tybalt. He speaks very highly of you. Our operation succeeded, preceptor. Demi is safe and soon we'll have enough information on Codicus to keep him under wraps for good. You've both done exceptionally well. Tybalt, we've decided to keep you on field duty. Really? You mean it? I'm gonna keep working in the field? I'm gonna keep working in the field! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> as for you, Initiate, we're promoting you to full agent and permanently assigning you and Tybalt as partners. Congratulations. And with that in mind, it's time for your next assignment. Real, give the agent a quick briefing. Okay. Some of the lesser races have asked for assistance. I'll show you the dossiers and you can choose where you'd like to investigate. Okay, so next chapter is going to be um, helping the lesser races. Let's see if we can look around. Oh, we can do, do that out, uh, afterwards, actually. Uh, let's go and find out. Uh, so we can go and speak with the, uh, the script. Uh, we can go speak to the, with the script. Are the rat-like folk? Uh, I don't remember if we've uh, seen any. The Quaggans are kind of like underwater uh, amphibious kind of things and the Hylic are like the frog people. Um, trying to think of what would be the most interesting to show you. Um, but for now let's just ask. Always been curious about the Skrit. The Skrit are a rat-like race of scavengers. Good-hearted but light-fingered if you know what I mean. Okay. Um, uh, you also the script uh, also have kind of like a hive mind uh, in intelligence more or less, um, but the, to the point where the, the closer they are together, um, the more intelligent they get. And there are some uh, places in the world. Uh, I think it's over in, in, in a Sora territory, over here somewhere, uh, not Kessex Hills down here, uh, around here, I think or. Uh, in Metrica or up in uh, the Brisbane Wildlands, there's a massive city where they have kings and um, various bits and bobs. So let's talk. To, uh, so let's go on to this. I always wanted to swim with the Quaggan. The Quaggan are an amphibious race. It said they once lived in the deep ocean, but something drove them toward land. Hmm. So there's that. Or the Hylek are an enigma. They worship the sun, they make potions, and that's about it. We definitely could benefit from knowing more uh, if we want to be with the Hylek. Let's go with the Skrit, shall we? Let's l learn a little bit about the Skrit. I've done the Hylek one a lot, and um, it, it's kind of, kind of interesting. You deal with a bunch of things. The Quaggan one, I think you should, the Quaggan's one, when you learn it about the... Like, they can do a thing when they get mad. They're kind of like gremlins. They can kind of like hulk out, if you like. Um... But let's let's talk about the script. That's all. Uh, let's do the script one for a change. Choose the script. There we go. And that uh, concludes that. We get our next bunch of rewards. We level up, and we get a bunch of new stuff. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll get our second specialization slot at level 45, uh, which is a good thing to know. Can we talk to any of these people? How for us? Best of luck in your endeavours, Ten Lamore. The Honourable will be watching you closely. Who is the other preceptor? Valens, over here. Hello. Greetings, Ten Lamore. I'm the Order's primary research analyst. Is there anything you need to know? What can you tell me about the other members of the Order? Well, that depends. Some information is classified. Whom do you wish to know about? Tell me about yourself. 
I'm a preceptor, focusing on research and information. I also sell illusions and other mesma magic. Uh, okay. Uh, who is Riel, and what does she do here? She's a light bringer and a primary agent in Lion's Heart. She's also the Order's most accomplished sniper. Nice. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me about Dern, uh, Dawn and Halvora? Dawn is our infiltration and assassination specialist. Halvora is our combat technician. Both are excellent at their jobs. Uh, anything about um, the cultures? Uh, oh, she more just says the same kind of thing. Uh, okay. Perhaps we'll speak later. There's nothing else from you, is there? No. To me. Hello, ten the more. Look, we're finally here, finally safe, and all because of you. So this is the heart of the Order's Whispers. Amazing. It's a little overwhelming, but between telling them about my father's plans and my own training, I feel like I'm part of the team. What are your plans? What do you want to focus on in the Order of Whispers? Right now, I'm sharing my knowledge of crime politics. I love political intrigue. I think I'll make a good analyst. Okay. Uh, here's Riel. Has she got anything else to say? No. Nope. Uh, yeah, here's the map here, where you can see various bits and bobs. It even has, like, uh, I assume... Um, this is using some forward knowledge. They might be in the ley line hubs from um, that we'll see in the future. Uh, very interesting that they will have this here. I wonder if they're ever going to explain what this thing actually is. Alvora, we have spoken to. Then Dawn over here. Hello. What can I do for our newest agent? Excuse me, but who are you? My name is Dawn Velasquez. I'm one of the preceptors of the Order of Whispers. Are you from Kryta? Kryta? No, no. I mean, yes, of course. The human nation, right? Kryta. Yes. That sounds mighty suspicious. Cancer? You don't look Alonian. That information's classified. Maybe we'll talk more about it one day. Fine, I suppose I'll ask you something else. Now that, that whole line of dialogue is still one of the most mysterious things. It's one of the current Guild Wars 2 mysteries. It's like, where is Dawn actually from? Like, Velasquez doesn't sound like a Cancer name. Cancer is kind of like Guild Wars is like Asian analogue. Velasquez sounds like a Mexican kind of name. Which there was back in Guild Wars one era, there was mention of a kind of, I think it's called Exteca or Exateca kinda of, or something. Like what is this over here? There's mention of like another land. That was meant to be Aztec kind of influenced and um, I think it was called the Utopia update, but it never came around to being a thing. Like could he be from there? And like there was also some sort of idea about him being a time traveler or something him being something from the mists we don't know but um yeah he is a very elusive character um that is still a very much a mystery today how he reacts uh to that question what's a preceptor we three elite, uh, lead by passing the master of whispers orders onto agents who take those tasks into the field the master of whispers the master of whispers is the shadow individual who leads our order you're not clear to know more understood uh, were you ever a field agent? Yes, yes I was, until my uh, partner, wife obviously, was killed in the line of duty. I've worked here at the Shantry since then. You're about to say wife. That's none of your business, agent. I'll drop this line of questions if I were you. So, yeah, again, another thing. Who was his wife? Preceptor, I'm sorry. There we go. But that's it. That's it. We'll come out of uh, the incident. Now there is uh, more to explore in there. There is also like an upstairs uh, that you can go and have a. Actually, let's go back in and have a. I'll show you a little bit around. Back into the chantry, and then we'll draw the episode to a close and continue from there. Oh, chantry's all oh, right here, yeah, of course. So this is what it's like when you come in here out, not in an instance. You just get people working you in if you like. There's another whispers agent. Uh, with a char just walking around. And here we go. So this is what it looks like when you're not uh, here normally. There's some casual bystanders. I don't know why these people are here. There's some scripts that don't, don't want to just be saying things. So these are the script. There's a, a Coden here. I don't think we've seen these guys yet. These are uh, natives to the far north. I don't think it'll let me show you. Actually, I might be able to. Here we go. So they... Uh, they come up here from the far Shiver Peaks, uh, the Coden, and um, they have a very interesting culture. Maybe we can go into that uh, eventually one point. He doesn't want to say anything for How for interesting. Now. Yes, it is interesting. In fact, there, there's a, a tonic you can get. Um, it's one of the things from the game. You can get tonics which uh, change your appearance. And I actually have one that can turn you into a Coden. Uh, Kishwabar Sengdas. Here's a Hylek. There's a Silvari there. 
Does he have anything to say? Nope. That's the gate I was talking about. We go up to the uh, the world map, if you like. There's some more people standing around. Uh, some whispers keepers. There's the lens there. Does she have anything to say outside of thing? Uh, I was wondering when I'd see you again. I like surprises. Can we get into trouble? You into trouble? You think? Not right now. I've got too much going on. That's no way to speak to your um, your superior. There's nothing around the back. Whispers initiate. There is, however, a second story to this. There is an upstairs, which and then there is a gate over here, which will take us up. Order Asura gate guard. Uh -uh. You can't hide anything from me. So right there, access to the first city is restricted. You will not pass the unpassable. I have master's permission. Let me in. There we go. So we get to the next level, and it's here. Uh, you can speak to some more people. There's uh, like some slayers just kind of watching you. And if you notice down here, they all bow. Whisper Slayer bows to Ted Lamar. Here we go. Some more people here. This is where Halvora is. Hello. Seems like no matter how many steps forward we make, the dragons push us back. I'm a stubborn old soldier, but it's still damn depressing. Don't worry about it. And there's Demi. She's getting to work. Hey, it's Ted Lamore. How are you? Valenz has been teaching me things. She's a brilliant political analyst and one day I'm going to follow in her footsteps. She's here kind of working on whatever this is. It looks like some sort of... I don't know, actually. Some sort of... Some, it, it's something. Uh, okay, we've got some more people here. We've got firing at the thing. Here's Dawn. Hello. What's the status of your assignment? I just be quickly. What is it you do here, Preceptor? Havora handles combat missions. Valens uh, does research and analysis. My job, quite simply, is spycraft. Okay. There's uh, another machine. They're kind of printing a bunch of maps, it seems. So you've got some printers. Very interesting. Uh, Whispers Agent. More Whispers Agents. Whispers Secrets. There's a light bringer there, got some more people over there. And over here, this is where you get the armor from. Uh, it's here that you can purchase uh, the uh, Order of Whispers armor sets. Is there anyone back here? No, that's it. Right, so for now, we're going to leave it there. Our next story mission will pick up at level 50. So I've got a couple more levels to get out and we'll no doubt explore uh, the remainder of uh, Blood Tide Coast and wherever else we will need to be going. But for now, uh, thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time.